Greetings, friends. Let me ask you a question. Do you need a blessing from God? Do you need the Lord to open up heaven and pour out his blessings upon you? Well, he tells us in the Bible that we can do that. Now, I'm holding a Bible in my hand that I've not been able to find for two years. I've had it since 2004. It's uh, followed me around the world. It was thin, it fits in my briefcase, Old and New Testament, New King James Version. But it was, it was missing in action. And finally, Rivers today found it in a box in the back of my closet. Pulled it out and said, are you been looking for this? I went, oh my goodness. My old friend, this leather Bible, the New King James. Well, I was going through it and I found some notes in, in one particular chapter that I thought might be uh, of help to you, might in fact show you a way to receive an outpouring of God's blessings upon your life. And so I'm going to read from Malachi chapter 3. Malachi is the last book in the Old Testament right before Matthew. And I'm going to read this to you from the New King James Version if you want to follow along. It says this in chapter 3 verse 8. God says, will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. But you say, in what way have we robbed you? In tithes and offerings. And you are cursed with a curse, for you have robbed me, the whole nation of you. And then in verse 10, bring all the tithes into the storehouse of God, that there may be food in my house. And, and test me, try me now in this, says the Lord of hosts. If I will not open for you a window of heaven, a window of heaven and pour out for you such blessings that there will not be room enough for you to receive it. That's an amazing thought, isn't it? That if you simply do what God has asked you to do, to give him a tithe, the 10% of what you have, he will open up a heaven, heaven's a floodgate and pour out on you. And, you know, it's like rivers in me. If I give rivers... Uh, some roses for our anniversary out of a sense of obligation because I have to, and she knows that, I'm not able to save my money because she won't receive it as a love offering. She'll receive it as an obligation. But yet if I open my heart and I give her the roses because I love her as my spouse, she'll receive it with, with great joy. She doesn't need the roses, but she needs my uh, expression uh, of my love for her. And that's what a tithe is. God says, look, when you tithe to me, when you give it to my, to my work, you're showing me that you love me. It's an expression of your love. And watch, if I won't exceed that and give back to you, I'll open heaven over you. I'm not, I'm not proposing that you give to God to get anything. I'm saying you give to the Lord because you love him, and God's going to bless you in return. And how does he bless you? I'm glad you asked. Go to verse 11. It says, and I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes. That means that God is going to protect you from your adversaries, protect you from your en enemies. He's going to protect what you have and who you are and your family. God is going to give you protection. And don't we need God's protection in, in this crazy world we're living in right now? Certainly. But it goes on. He says, furthermore, I will provide for you. I will provide, he says, so that he will not destroy the fruit of your ground, nor shall the vine fail to bear fruit for you in the field. So not only is God going to protect you, but he's going to provide. He's going to give you provision. He's going to bless everything you put your hands to. That's just an amazing thing. God says, hey, up front, I'm going to protect you and I'm going to provide for you. And, but he goes on. He says he's going to give you favor. In verse 12, and all the nations will call you blessed for you will be a, a delightful land, says the Lord of hosts. And that favor that God gives us is with other people. He, he, he blesses us to be a blessing, to find a favor with others. I think of Jesus in Luke chapter 2. It says, you know, he, he grew in stature and in favor with God and man. So in this simple text, it says, look, if you'll do these three things, if you'll, I mean, if you'll tithe to the Lord and give him out of, out of your uh, first fruits, uh, out of your heart because you love him, he's going to extend to you far beyond what you could imagine. He's going to protect you. He's going to provide for you. And he's going to give you favor. This is an awesome teaching. I taught this in my church many times. And, and my church in, in Connecticut understood this, that when we open our heart to God and give to him, he's going to open his heart and give back to us. 
And listen, I'm not, I'm not proposing that we give to get anything. We give out of love and God gives back to us a full measure of his love. I like that passage in Matthew. It says, what? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and everything else will be added unto us. If you want a blessing from God, if you want God to open up heaven over your life for, for protection and provision and, and favor, then read Malachi chapter three, start with verse eight and realize that as you open your heart to God, he's going to open his heart to you. Yeah, I hope this has been helpful for you. Listen, if you want to reach out to me and share your thoughts, hit the comment button on Facebook or go to my webpage, paulteskeyministries.com and you'll uh, find a prayer button there. You can share your prayer request or your thoughts. And also you can track me on Instagram, paulteskeyministries.com on Instagram. And then uh, Facebook, I mean, uh, YouTube is giving me a page too. It's called YouTube at Paul Teske Ministries. There's about 200 teachings on there, testimonies, uh, conferences, uh, there for your learning and, and your uh, blessing. So I'm, I'm giving this to you as a gift because I want to bless you. And if you want to reach out to me, do so. I'll get back to you. I answer every, every prayer request myself that I receive uh, through my, um, my website page, Paul Teske Ministries, okay? So go in peace and serve the Lord. And all God's people said, amen. And thank you, God, for giving me back, helping me find, through my, through my lovely wife's help, this great lost treasure, the word of God. Amen? Amen.